Hey guys, welcome to this uh, quick video um, that I'm going to do before the next tutorial. This one's just going to go over um, reformatting our uh, stat section, or stack file structure here, just so uh, as we progress in the next couple episodes it doesn't just get cluttered with a lot of different files and stuff. And also I'm going to be going in and giving each of these their own namespace. So if you want to skip this video, feel free, jump into the next one. Just know that your file structure may differ from what it is currently. Okay, if you guys stick around, uh, let's begin. So, first change, I'm just going to change this to stats, to stat system, because that's what it's going to be. And most of these I'm just going to be adding stats so everything goes together. I'm going to be adding an extra folder named stats and I'm just gonna toss this stat in there and move all the stat types from the stat types file into the stats and I'm gonna move the stat types enum into the stat types folder because in a later video we're gonna be extending this and it's gonna take up the whole folder structure also I'm gonna move the stat collection into the stat collection folder and that's majority it, except inside our stats, modifiers, and linkers. Pretty much where we have this basic linker or these other modifiers or even the stats that extend the base class. I'm going to be making an extra folder called extensions. And I'm going to be putting a copy of this inside each of the stats, modifiers, and linker folders. And then I'm going to be moving all the extending classes into their files. And then in each one of these, I'm going to be creating another subfolder. And it's going to be the same as the name of the extending class. So base add, base percent, and then base or total add and total percent. and then I'll drag their corresponding files into the correct folders. There you go, and then I'll do it for the linker as well, just call this one basic. And then create four more of these, or three more. There we go. Now, this may kind of seem excessive now, uh, but later on we're going to be having a lot of new folders come in and files for each one of these, so it'll be easier just to keep organized. And also, having this file structure will help kind of show you what are the core scripts of this stat system and what are literally just extensions that can be easily changed in something new or you can see where you can add things to this project to make it more your own and get away from the base class. Okay, now this is for the most part how I want the structure for this project. And the next thing we're going to go through is to kind of make this actually its own system. We're going to be adding, giving a namespace to everything just so it kind of is out of the pretty much global namespace so people don't have uh, name conflicts or anything even though we are using pretty strange names with our RPG start but I'm just gonna jump in and pretty much 
namespace RPG systems dot stat system. I'm gonna copy that because I'm gonna be pasting it a lot. And yeah, we're gonna do this pretty much for every single one of our uh, files. Let me just do this so I can easily select them. But this is just keep extra, keep it a little bit more organized in our code and just make everything nice. Now, once you uh, oops, this. once you uh, complete name, all the name changes or namespaces for each one of these scripts, a couple of the extra files in our projects, such as the uh, test scripts and maybe the UI scripts that we created earlier, will uh, have um, errors saying that the type cannot be found. Um, in those scripts, we're gonna have to just go in and add this namespace that we're creating. And all the type references should be fixed. So one more. And go into Unity and see what all errors we got. So stack collections not is undefined. We'll just use the stat system namespace and everything should be fixed. We'll do that in each of the scripts that are yelling at us. And also uh, in the future um, tutorials, we're I'm not exactly sure just yet, but we're probably going to be rewriting all these tests since right now most of them are either broken or not really working correctly. So if you want, you can just straight up delete the test folder and we'll continue. We'll rework it at a later date. Though as soon as we start uh, working on the stat system, there will be a editor extension where we'll be able to modify the values at runtime and we can kind of see how everything's working and see if anything's broken then. But until then, um, that's all we have to do for uh, restructuring this project. We just added namespaces and kind of cleaned up where everything is and used these extension folders just to kind of separate the core scripts from whatever is extending uh, from our system that we have. Um, well, in the next uh, tutorial, we'll be uh, going in and adding some uh, utility scripts to this that we'll build off of to build our um, our editor for our whole stat system and our few changes to how it's actually going to uh, work. So until there, hope this was helpful and see you then.